Hey guys, Cake here again with another tutorial on how to install Homebrew. Uh, sadly, there was just a recent update. Um, so if you got the update, then you're not going to be able to use this. But if you don't have it and you're still running uh, ver version less than what's on the screen right now, then you're going to be able to use this. This guide is for 2DS and the old 3DS. If you need the guide for new 3DS, it's a little bit different, so check out the video here or link in the description. If you're wondering why you'd want to use Homebrew for hat for Pokemon reasons, um, I'll show you how to use Save Manager and PK Hex in this video. Or if you're on mobile, there's a link in the description on how to use that. So here's what you have to do to get Homebrew running as long as you didn't update. First thing you need to do is go to this URL. Okay, and once you do that, it, you're going to download a file called hacks.zip. So go ahead and uh, unzip that folder, and once you do, go ahead and open it. And as you see, I've already opened it here. And take your SD card out of your 3DS, which is really easy on 2DS and old 3DS. New 3DS is actually not easy, and I made a tutorial for that if you want to check out some of my other videos. But for now, just put in your SD card using maybe like a save adapter like this SD adapter okay so this is the SD card this is the file you just unzipped take every single file from there 3ds save data backup boot dot 3dsx game config and just drag it on over right into the root of your SD it's gonna copy on in there okay after you do that uh, eject your SD card and then plug it back into your 3DS. When you're in your browser, yours is going to be in English. Mine's in Japanese, but it's going to work the same. So click URL, and then you need to type in the following URL. It's yls8.mtheall dot com slash slider hacks dot p h p I recommend once you have this entered in correctly to bookmark it because it's kind of a pain in the ass to type it in over and over anytime you want to load the homebrew you're gonna have to type this in so if you bookmark it you can just go to your bookmark okay now this is gonna load this page with this slider bar you need to click the plus mark on your browser to zoom in all the way zoom in all the way and then just grab it and drag all the way to the top left of the page uh, so you can see the slider bar what you need to do is you need to touch the furthest right hand point of the slider so what I like to do is I start by t touching um, the like outside of the bar range see you can see where I'm touching and I just slowly work my way in that way by the time and I slowly work my way in and by the time I touch it I catch the very end if you do it correctly and you hit the very last point the screens gonna go yellow and if it goes yellow that means homebrew's about to load and you're oh, there goes my my pen anyway so yeah, so the homebrew loads up, and it's pretty easy as that. Um, if you, the package that I included in this video includes Save Manager, so um, it's already on here. If you want to know how to use that with PK Hex, check out the video at the end or in the description. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is how to run homebrew. And remember, if you got the recent update, this isn't gonna work. So if you don't have it, enjoy it while you can, and don't update. Uh, for future references, just so you guys know, we have some pre-made 2DS units with a Cubic Ninja Ninja Hacks already installed, and even the newest update didn't break that. So uh, we're basically selling those. It, we're, we have a 2DS with firmware and Cubic Ninja, and some prepackaged stuff so 
no obligation if you don't update just go ahead and do the way I'm describing the tutorial and if any other new methods come out believe me I will show you how to do them um, so that's it for today if you're running a new 3ds this guide's not for you okay and see you later